time for our first guest. Now, we love having her here on the show because she's a fantastic musician. She's also an actress and a director, and she has this great new movie coming out called Magnetic. Please welcome to the show, Sophia Cassiola! <laughs> So great to have you. You've actually been on the show a few times I with uh, your band. Drumming. And, uh, but you uh, and Michael J. Epstein, uh, you guys direct films together. And I want to talk about this new one you've been putting together. You brought us a clip tonight. But first of all, why don't you tell us what Magnetic is all about? Sure. It's um, a very dry sci-fi film starring one person. Her name's Alex Mortis. Mm -hmm. And it's about how a solar flare is going to destroy Earth. And there's time travel involved with her either deciding to let that happen or to stop it. Fantastic. So. Is, it, is it hard working with just one actress in a movie? She's got to do everything. It, it is hard. It's hard for her. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier on us as the directors to schedule it. And, and working with her has been an absolute joy. We've been shooting the last six months, and we're just about done shooting. Fantastic. So you brought us a clip, so we have a sneak peek here. Mm -hmm. uh, and why don't you set up the magnetic clip for us? Sure. It's just a teaser of some of the footage we've shot so far, along with um, a little bit of what the score is going to sound like. And Alex is also singing the song in the oh. teaser. So. All right, here we go. This is a clip from Magnetic. That was a clip from Magnetic. Now, you also uh, have done some acting, and you were in recently a feature film, mm -hmm. which is uh, in festival now, and it's called uh, Ten. Yep. And you play uh, one of ten women that is being chased around and killed. What's this all about? <laughs> um, well, it kind of follows that familiar trope of ten people showing up in a mansion and being killed off one by one. But it's also it's starring ten women, and it's exploring identity and stereotypes and, and how your identity can change very quickly. Um, so I played a singer in it, mm -hmm. um, and so it's in festivals now, and we're going to Providence on Saturday with it, and we were just in Maine, and we've done Boston and mm -hmm. Brooklyn, and hopefully a whole bunch more for What's the What's the reaction year. from the festival crowd? It's been really interesting to watch, because every crowd has been totally different. Mm -hmm. There's like a lot of dark humor in the film, mm -hmm. and some crowds pick up on it, and some don't as much, so it's been very interesting, but we've gotten amazing questions, because there's a lot of thesis in there about what identity means, and, and some people get that. And you, you, uh, you mentioned the, uh, the different humor there. You also had done a 48-hour film uh, festival recently, Mm -hmm. uh, it's a project there, and you had a, a film where uh, you were on stage, it was great, you were laughing, and people were kind of uh, doing performances, and then at the end they were being uh, killed or something. What was this oh, all murder. about? Murder. Uh, I played a game show host from the like a post-apocalyptic future, dystopian mm -hmm. future, uh, where people come on the show and sing songs, and if the audience doesn't like it, then they are sent to the cut zone where they are killed. Um, but we've done the 48-hour festival the last three years as a band, actually, as the Michael J. F.C. Memorial Library. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. It's a different culture because I hear a lot of the people that are interested in film are doing these 48-hour film festivals. Even some of the uh, kids that worked on our show that went off to college and worked on them. Why is this becoming so popular? Is this something where you just go away for a weekend? Uh, what, what, how does it uh, work? Oh, uh, it's great. You get the assignment on Friday night and on Sunday you have to turn in something. Mm -hmm. So it's just one crazy weekend of writing it and acting in it and editing it and turning it in. Um, and it's just great as a filmmaker because there's no thinking too hard about anything. You just have to go and finish it and it's just a thing that you did that weekend. And mm -hmm. the best part is Monday you've finished another film. So oh, That's awesome. Yeah. And now you, um, you've set up some stuff for Magnetic. I know you have an IMD B page mm -hmm. and a website, and also you have some other projects up there. But what's what's the uh, website for Magnetic? It's magneticthemovie.com, mm -hmm. and there's 10themovie.com for 10, our first feature film, and 
I'm everywhere <laughs> as well. So. Now, um, when Magneta comes out, how do people see it? Do they have to go to a festival to watch it? Or at, do you guys release it online? How does that go? At first, it'll be in festivals. Um, starting early next year, we're hoping to have it finished by the summer to start submitting it. And then eventually, it'll be online. Mm -hmm. Do you find that uh, working with the film and directing these films and being in the music scene is like something that crosses over as far as art is concerned? It's really great because for me as a creative person, it doesn't really matter what my outlet is. Mm -hmm. um, but people in all of the different genres around Boston of film and music, we're all just sort of coming together and it, I just see more and more people working together and it's mm -hmm. been really wonderful. The, um, obviously, uh, you do love the music as well, but is there something that you, you find more challenging or is it all the same to you? Uh, well, film is definitely a lot harder than music, I think, just because you have to include other people. <laughs> <laughs> so it can't be as crazy um, obsessive about everything because mm -hmm. um, you have to, there's no way to do it alone. Mm -hmm. um, but that's also what's really wonderful, wonderful about film is building those families. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you were working with Michael J. Epstein. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys do the music together. You're a couple. Yep. Uh, how great is that having uh, uh, your, your partner there and you guys are just creating all kinds of stuff together? It's awesome. Um, I mean, if we weren't together, then we'd be spending all of our time together, probably making <laughs> yeah. our other spouses angry. <laughs> so at least this way, we're together all the time working together. Um, and it's nice because we can kind of read each other's minds and know what needs to happen at any given moment so well that's fantastic and, and i know uh, that you guys have been on the show and you've shown your art and your music and now your film and you also help us out behind the scenes now mm -hmm. so i wanted to thank you guys personally for becoming a part of the steve katzler show family <laughs> and uh, we wish you all the luck with magnetic uh look for the imdb page and we're so happy she came here tonight sophia cassia thank you so much for all right we'll be right back right after this. Uh, yeah.